Alright guys, a little quick update, a little, a little baby right there, that's me hard. Anyways, um, box is out of the truck as you can see, but you guys remember when I was building this bad boy. Anyways, a little, little display in the living room. Yeah. Let's start. Alright, so subject of the truck. Yeah, right here. The two ascendant audio Hattic fifteens. These bad boys favorite so far my favorite rubber. Best sounding quality. Also gets loud when you give them power. I love them. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you just have the topper in there. Let me see, the topper is still freaking nice. And that one. Also, uh, and that one. The topper is looking just like it did when I bought them. But yeah, I mean, even after pounding on them, like, so we have this focus here. I, they're still stiff, so. Head outside real quick. Show what the box is looking like. We got the front piece primed. Uh, as you can see, the inside is painted. Oh, maybe now you guys can see the metallic in this thing. I don't know. Anyways. Um. The box, I was just testing it out, is going to have a uh, metallic charcoal gloss finish to it with a lot of clear coat. Uh, can't really see it right now, but I do have a port flare on there. It's underneath, well, I guess I'll take this, this crap off. It ain't working, so... There that is. Wow. Port's all nice and painted. All shiny like, you know. There ain't nothing special, just smooth round over. That one's a full round over. These are a little bit thicker, but all works the same. Alright, I'm gonna uh, cut this off real quick. You guys All right, <clears throat> through the truck, slide this shit forward. All right, so this is basically my truck without a box in it. As you can see, my little six by nine both slots in the place of where the jump seats used to be. A lot more leg room. <laughs> That's all right. I got I got enough without it. Uh, all right main thing I wanted to show you guys uh, the back of the box where these screws are rubbing wore into the box about uh, three eighths of an inch or so but uh, if any of you guys were watching my rear window flex like when I was driving home and whatnot how this top piece was just slapping well this is a steel piece and it completely split the fucker and uh, as you can see with this bottom one, I bet it probably doesn't stick in there. <laughs> yeah, the shit just broke. The whole fucking thing just broke. But yeah, if you look at that, I don't know if you can see from the inside or not, but yeah, it's just completely split it. <sighs> fucking crazy, right? Anyways, um, I haven't decided how I'm mounting the box so far yet. Came up with an idea of using, um, these bolts down here, taking the middle seat seat belts out, because I don't carry anybody in the middle seat anyway, you know. So I was thinking about taking, you know, taking uh, this piece, uh, this part off, and then having like a, uh, a 
5 16 steel plate welded up that kind of comes out here and mounts to the face of the box like that mounts to the face you know to hold it in there and then I was going to have a deadbolt going through the box through the center hump right there which would basically only way I could take it in and out is with the subs out so that's pretty much how that one works out but uh, yeah I should probably get a little bit better gas mileage for this next couple weeks I guess so a little update on that I'm going to head back inside get some breakfast go to work make some money buy some cardio shit and post some vids excited to see what the subs look like in the box getting a little anxious wow give you guys a little idea here I set an audio for the motherfucking win looking all sexy and shit got my little nice round of port going out there boom and oh yeah this whole box is going to be ripped out with uh, blue LEDs going to look sick port for you as you can tell what I was talking about you can see all the inside of it it's all rounded over and whatnot. dual ones I checked the impedance one of them reads uh, point nines and that one reads point eight so I really don't know what that works out as far as power goes but I'm sure I won't be able to tell the difference it doesn't really matter I guess but yeah it's gonna look sexy I uh, don't have the rubber boots on here um, as you can see it's just a finger width in between the subs I hope that I hope this fucking box gets down. I've never done a port like this before, never done one so big. But uh as far as square inches per cubic feet go, it's the equivalent of doing a regular slot port. The fourteen and a half square inches of port per cubic feet. The box is eight cubes after displacement. Port length is twenty-three inches long giving me a tuning frequency of I want to say 33 Hertz 34 Hertz the subs don't have the greatest displacement but I mean I give you guys a little I don't know if I can see that it's just freaking ah uh, loving it get this face taken off for you guys real quick Fucking one inch is heavy. Heavy shit. Boom. Check that out. How's that looking for you? Not too bad, huh? See, I need to focus. Boom. All right. Box is uh 99.9 percent .9 done. Uh, as you can see, my windows in oh, I got my AA logo in there got like a metallic blue painted paint see if it will focus this close it should uh, anyways I got metallic charcoal metallic blue kind of overspray design got the port with the uh, two-tone gray just a raw wire down there for my LEDs probably gonna look like a mess but I don't have it ran yet so I got four LED strips in here this bottom bracket is a 3 16th thick steel it's gonna have a half inch deadbolt straight through my cab uh, as for this, these brackets right here quarter inch thick steel brackets basically bolted to my box gonna have half inch all three going from here down to there and then from there to there so basically it'll keep the top and bottom from flexing which it's one inch thick MDF so it shouldn't but just in case you know a box that doesn't flex is a more efficient box so uh reason for it to be not quite in the center of the box is because I took a dimension from the port wall to that wall and cut it in half so from the port to the end wall this is dead center and then basically I just wanted to add a little more support to the center of the box since this is only um, 
two and a half inch thick by inch thick wood. So, I mean, I've, I've banged on it and it doesn't flex, but you know, you see the massive 45 down there. I mean, as you can see, it's a good nine inch 45 right there. You see a big, big port. I mean, my hand's eight inches long, so you get an idea how big a port that is. But yeah, I mean, it's starting to look good. See this right here? Nice flush look. None of those big old bulky bolts coming out through. I love how the way that turned out. You'll be able to see all thread bolt go through there. Put back like that. Boom. Again, Santa Audio logo. It is the one off my other box, just painted a different color. It's gonna look real good, guys. Alright, guys. After a long day of work, box is finished. Here it is. Two Santa Audio Havoc 15s. Big ass port. Nice port round over, two tone paint, got the uh, metallic blue Ascendant Audio logo, got the Ascendant Audio in the box. You guys can see this. Got my bracketry all done up for my all thread bracing, all the way up to the top, like that. Blow. One for one, one for two. All my LEDs all in there, looking sexy. As you can see, woofers are able to mount flat. I love it. Looking good. Can't wait to get it in the truck now. Um, as you can see, it's the reason why I did all the bracketry. Look at that. Nice flush mount right there. No big bolts sticking through, none of that. As you can Time to show you guys LEDs. Alright guys, like I said, final bit of the box. Here in the afternoon. Just wanted to show you what it is. It's gonna look like at night time. There it is. As you can see the bracing looks all good. Boom. Hope you get in the truck soon.